Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. The weather for the majority of our Sunday is going to be great. It's been that way throughout the day thus far, but that's going to change over the next few hours as a cold front moves our way. Tracking this line of storms that's sliding southeastbound, we can see many severe thunderstorm warnings have been issued for hail and gusty wind, a lot of lightning and heavy rain all going to be accompanying this uh, cold front as it works closer to the valley. Eventually it is going to weaken, but it's packing a punch right now and it's moving around 50 to 60 miles per hour. A pretty good clip, but thankfully as the sun sets, we'll start to see these fade little by little. Nothing just yet on live local aid and the storm team live radar a network locally speaking, but to the northwest starting to see those get closer to the I-99 corridor and State College now getting really on top of I-80, if not just a bit south of I-80. Here's that live glance in York, not looking too bad, at least for now. But as this cold front works to the south and east, it's going to bring more clouds and eventually showers and thunderstorms. The big story aside from the cold front today on this impact day has been that blustery wind from the southwest around 20 to 30 miles per hour now still quite gusty and that's been boosting up our temps and in turn leading to that instability that has now really helped intensify the storm. So in the 80s in Carlisle, middle 80s, in Chambersburg, well above normal for this time of the year. We have 79 in the capital city. The same goes for us here in Lancaster. Over the next few hours, we're expecting that line of storms to move into the valley. We'll have temperatures in the low to mid 70s. A few of those are going to be strong to severe, I think, even here at home. They'll quickly move to the south and east. They'll end, I think, around midnight as that front pushes to the south and east. Temperatures in the middle 50s to near 60 as clouds decrease little by little. And then tomorrow, High pressure is going to build in. We'll have a nice amount of sunshine with highs back in the mid to upper 70s. We have that severe thunderstorm watch now that does include Mifflin and Juniata County as well as Northumberland County. That's until 11 o'clock this evening. But for the rest of us that are not under that watch, we have that one to two out of five, that marginal to slight risk across the remainder of the valley. And that means a few storms could be on the severe side. Our main concern, I think, is going to be the gusty wind and then the hail. But to the northwest, where we have a little more organizational wind in the atmosphere, we could see a uh, spin up tornado. But I think our concern is that gusty wind along that line and some heavy rain as well. That could lead to some spotty power outages, some downed trees, and maybe a bit of flooding potentially in the low lying areas. Thankfully, we're not expecting widespread flooding, but that rain is going to come down heavily, so we'll have to watch. Here's predictor as we time out the remainder of our Sunday evening. We can see that line sliding our way. This is 930. You can see this little area of moisture getting picked up here. This is actually likely a gust front, so that cold air rushing out of these storms could maybe initiate a few more, but the main line to the northwest that continues to work in through 11 o'clock through midnight. It's pushing to the south and east through the wee hours of our Monday. Then it's out of here and we're expecting more in the way of sunshine by later on tomorrow, which is good news in terms of rain chances. They increase once again as our next storm system moves in midweek onward. We'll catch a little break tomorrow and Tuesday, which is good. If you have plans to get out and about, we are expecting high pollen levels once again and with more sunshine that burn time around 25 minutes. Our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast does ex does show temperatures rather back into the 60s as that storm system moves in a big cool down behind it. Actually, once it finally gets through a couple of them back into the low 60s with showers lingering into this upcoming weekend and we stay on the chilly side 50s as we kick off the following week there McKenna and we'll stay below normal. I think as we kick it off as long as all that pollen stops blowing around. I'll